E aí galera, eu sou o Nóbrega, beleza? Chegando com mais uma gameplay aqui no canal. Sejam todos bem-vindos. A gente tá trazendo bastante gameplay não comentada, então eu gostaria que vocês deixassem aí se vocês preferem gameplay comentada ou não comentada, que a gente vai dar preferência para aquilo que vocês escolherem, beleza? Então vamos fazer o seguinte, conhece o jogo, não conhece o jogo, deixa aí nos comentários aquilo que vocês estão achando e se inscrevam no canal fortalece demais ativar o sininho para chegar as notificações para vocês aí então vamos fazer o seguinte vamos lá gameplay não comentada beleza tamo junto curtam aí fui até mais Blasphemy. David, can you, can you ever forgive me? It's locked. Me and the children from St. Anne's Orphanage. Tragedy strikes again. It was only a few days ago that another boy was reported missing from St. Mary's Church. This is the seventh in a string of children reported missing since just last month. All of them were poor souls from St. Anne's Orphanage, apparently under the custody of Father Abraham Marcus. I witness confirmed... They've gone mad. Are they accusing me? Each night I pray for the safe return of the altar boy. God as my witness. Could there be an unholy will at work here? Now, we have breaking news about the killer priest from Black Tower. Eyewitness confirms he really did murder those eight children. Father Ryan Carpenter is here with a message for him. Father, we have to speak about what you did. You used to call them angels, but in the end you killed them with a straight razor. They were innocent children, Father. Heavenly There's Father, blood on help your me hands. in these dark There's times. Even blood on the altar. For you know I am your humble servant. I hear the demons gnawing at my faith. My mind is clouded by doubt. Guide me towards the light in these darkest of hours. Wherever the child may be, I know you are with him. I will not lose my faith. I know you will give me a sign. Forgive me, Father. Tonight I will leave this world. My suffering is more than I can bear. I always thought I could find solace among the mortals, but I was a fool. You'll find me at the end of the world. I am waiting for you, and please do not despair. Could this mean that you're alive? I 
I could swear this thing was following me. What is this? Indispensable addiction. A phonograph cylinder. This place? Is this another of the devil's tricks? This place is not of your world. It is within the grasp of heaven. It is a part of paradise. God himself gave us this place. Only the brave, the righteous, and the loving can stay here. You're not one of them yet. In time you'll change. Soon your eyes will see the truth. You'll break the seal of the mystery. of Christ. What a curious gift. You will find more of these. They are all scattered around my world. Bring eight of them to the great priest and he will reveal a great mystery to you about life and death. Remember, every place that you'll visit in my world has a hidden icon somewhere. Leave no stone unturned.
Was that place even real? I think I'm going insane. We've invited our beloved father, Ryan Carpenter, to talk about the recent events. Good evening, Father, and Merry Christmas. Good evening, and thank you for the invitation. May God bless us all. Regarding these events, I think we are paying for the sins we've actually never committed. So you are saying we are being punished for someone else's sins? Are you talking about Father Abraham? Listen, my son. I always carry a fire. There's something strange about those eyes. I don't like them staring at that door. God is dead. The creator of all things is no more. God is dead. Side. Remember the ninth commandment? Thou shalt not bear false witness against thy neighbor. But in this case, how can I not speak of him? So, is Father Abraham involved? Obviously, we are dealing with a monster. Fear the beast, for it has been unchained and is walking our very streets. This, this is the sign that the world is coming to an end. Hmm, sacramental bread. What kind of trick is this? Who brought these mannequins here from the basement? There's a story about a priest and his whore. His name was Father Abraham, and her name was Lady Alexandra. It is said that she was a faithful creature, visiting the church often at night to confess her sins. Of course, Father Abraham would ask God for forgiveness. Later in the night, they would speak again about sins. This time, it would be on how to commit them. She would touch him. Her carnal lust knew no shame. She would plead with him to touch her sinful flesh and to feel the sweetness of her lips. Once, she told him, I want to feel the taste of the cross on my lips. I want to be part of your madness, to make liturgy of sins, to drink the blood of Christ and to eat his flesh, to bathe in his blood, to be one with him. This is blasphemy! Give a 
Mēdēm nav īpas, tad daudz zinē iepas. Šelps es īpinu cijā. never felt ashamed about my relationship with Alexandra. She always had a peculiar passion about the church and about me, especially me. The Roman Ritual. I used this on David to banish the demon that tormented us for a long time. flesh of Christ, but that means red wine and sacramental bread. The blood and the flesh of Christ, but that means red wine and sacramental bread. The return of our Lord Jesus Christ is ahead. Be afraid, be very afraid. The beast could be in your very home. going any further. There's something down there, or someone. The smell of wine.
instant and you won't even know it. Very grim warning indeed. I'm a simple man. I'm not a very religious person and I do not believe everything that is written in the Bible. Are you implying that Father Abraham is a beast? A priest? Of course. But how could this be possible? Listen. Firstly, you invited me here on your show in the middle of the night when I could have been at church and praying for some pitiful soul. Secondly, you haven't read the Bible, so you shouldn't speak about things you do not know. Those matters are difficult to comprehend. Such a simple mind as yours could never understand. Those are dangerous things. Lastly, I have a question for you. Who exactly do you think you are? Uh, I'm Judas Griffin. Exactly. You remind me of how Judas the Iscariot betrayed Jesus for a fistful of coins. That's exactly what you intend to do with me. Everything about your so-called midnight show is about money and ratings. Remember how Judas died? He hung himself from the tree with a rope of a dead mule. I apologize for angering you, Father. We have just a few seconds left. Do you have anything to say to our audience to calm the spirits? Stop searching for your missing children unless you're truly prepared. Satan has likely dumped them in a ditch.
with her throats cut. I know it with her throats. What is this? A phonograph cylinder. still love you. Do you remember how we met? Six years ago, at an exhibition of paintings depicting St. Francis. I was in mourning at the time. You noticed me. You approached me, seeing that I was upset and dressed in black. You, a stranger, approached me in an art gallery and comforted me. Who would have done that? I started crying. You wiped my tears away with a white handkerchief. I felt something I could not describe. I was in love for the first time. You told me that you lived your life in vain until the day you discovered God. Wounded as I was, I fell prey to love, but I never thought you would put your love for God above me. I still love you, but it doesn't matter anymore. I love you in my own way. Unfortunately, we will never be able to marry. As a priest, I'm forbidden to do that. I swore an oath. Even so, though I should not, I still love you. God, what a deadly sin. Nevertheless, it is good that we do not live together anymore. But that is not enough. We shall never see each other again. We cannot live in sin anymore. Stop visiting me at night under the pretext of confessing your sins. 
It is a torment of the body and soul. People talk. Everything has to stop. Goodbye, Alexandra. I hate you. But consider my hatred to be a strange kind of love that can't find a way of expressing itself other than this. You dare to say we shall never see each other again. It is inhuman. Listen to me, Abraham. I do not care if you're a priest, an angel, or a devil. I want to bear your child. It may seem crazy to you, but it makes perfect sense to me. You can't leave me with nothing. If you do, I'll tell everyone about your past. The diabolical rituals, the orgies, everything. No one will believe you came back to God. Give me the child I want and I swear I will leave England forever. I do not deserve to be abandoned with nothing like one of the children at the orphanage. A few kisses you call a sin, considering the depraved life you led before becoming a priest. Faith has messed with your mind. Give me a child or I'll ruin you. David, if you don't show yourself, the entire village will see me off to the gallows. Grown-ups never understand anything by themselves. And it is tiresome for children to be always and forever explaining things to them. Listen, I want to give my mother a flower. But the flower is dead. Can you bring it to life? 